You seem quite busy, Sai-san. I take it you're stuck in the middle of everything? The Phantom Thieves made a mockery of us when they brought down Kaneshiro. And to make matters worse, Mejid, who has been dormant for some time now, just declared war on them. How much more can they screw us over? Stress is bad for the skin, you know. Did you come all this way simply to be sarcastic? How about you listen to my deductions for a change of pace? You may think it absurd. But, don't you think the case you're pursuing and the actions of the Phantom Thieves overlap somehow? What are you basing this off of? The one point of commonality across all cases is how those involved have an unforeseen change of heart. I've suspected that myself, but those suspicions are unfounded. I told you at the beginning that this was only a deduction. These just Phantom Thieves are riling up the public. However, that is a disguise. Their true goal is terrorist action by way of psychotic breakdowns. Is that too much? There's nothing at the moment that falsifies that claim. Have you mentioned this to the police? I'd never tell them such things. The only value they have to me is in their mobility and organizational capabilities. Hmm. It seems having you lend me a hand has paid off. I'm glad to hear that. What about your case, Sai-san? Did you learn anything from the guardian of that mental shutdown victim's daughter? Nothing at all. I see. Now, what should my next action be for our victory? Handle the Phantom Thieves, without remorse. Use any means necessary to win. That's how I would deal with them. <laughs> Very well. This seems to be fun for you. Are you on to something? No, not at all. Well then, to our victory. Okay. All right. The flounder is out of this world. Mm. That texture. Uh, I don't see any prices listed here. It's called market price. Don't worry about it. We got the cash. So good. Hey, is the fatty tuna ready yet? Hold your horses. And don't talk. By the way, is Boss really the kind of person who would abuse someone? That again? I can't get it off my mind. Especially if it means he could be taken to court. What kind of person is he? Do you truly believe he'd do such a thing? Oh, because of your record. If it's really true about the abuse, he'd be a no good jerk pretending to be a guardian. Maybe the Chief is the one who needs a change of heart. Hold on a sec. About that. I actually got curious after our conversation and checked his name in the nav. Sounds to me like there wasn't a hit. Right. Anything beyond this is his family's problem. We probably shouldn't get any more involved. Wait! You think Alibaba could be Boss's ex-wife? He must have cheated on her, and that's where Futaba came from. Doubtful. Your imagination has run rampant. How foolish. Mmm. Still, this is delicious. I've never experienced anything quite like it before. Man, and it's all thanks to us being the Phantom Thieves. It Uh, um, f f fan fantastic This sushi is delicious! Y yeah! The fish is so fresh! Hm. 
Everywhere we go, we hear about these phantom thieves. What rubbish. Think about where we are, Ryuji. Sorry, it just kind of slipped. My apologies for bringing up Boss again. We should just enjoy the food. Ijima-san, what are you doing here? Akechi-kun. Akechi? You're the ones from the TV station. Could it be that you're friends of Nijima-san? Do you know this guy? It's nice to meet you. My name is Akechi. Glad to make your acquaintance, Yusuke Kitagawa. How do you know my name? Well, because I'm a psychic, of course. <laughs> I'm only joking. In truth, I'm a rookie detective. You're a former pupil of Madarame, right? I have actually just recently joined the investigation team looking into the Phantom Thieves. Did you see that Mejed has declared war on them? War? Their website was updated just a moment ago. For real? Ah, English again! Wait, what? What's it say? Huh. Why do you seem so agitated? Oh, um... She's, uh, a huge fan of the Phantom Thieves. Uh, a total nut job for him. Hmm. I don't know how wise it is to be a fan of groups like them. What is with these comments? My apologies. I didn't mean to butt into your conversation. But I must say, this is an interesting group. Prosecutor Nijima's sister, an ex-pupil of Madarame, and a few Shujin Academy students. It seems you're all connected to the Phantom Thieves. Perhaps you have better intel than I do. Ah, yes. I wanted to ask you something. Regarding this whole Mejed commotion, if you were one of the Phantom Thieves, what would you do? Unsurprising. I suppose you aren't interested in such gossip. Sorry to disappoint, but we're just normal high school kids. If anything, we want to hear what you gotta say, Mr. Detective. My profiling of the Phantom Thieves has led me to believe they are a group of juveniles. They have a relative amount of free time after school and a hideout to slip away to. Furthermore, considering Kamashita was their first target, it seems they began activity around April. In a way, all I've just said about the Phantom Thieves coincides with the group. What? You gonna report us? I didn't say I was being suspicious of you. <laughs> it seems you're not perturbed in the slightest. You really are an intriguing one. I lack your calm mannerisms, but don't you think my deduction is an interesting one? I bet we'd make a great team if we worked together. <laughs> What the hell are you saying? I'm curious to hear what you have to say. You seem to be a wealth of information. In return, I'll teach you how to make deductions. I believe that is a fair trade-off for you. All right. Well, this has been a valuable point of reference for me. I hope to see you all again. What was that about? Do you think he's ascertained our true identities? Nah, couldn't be. Right? I'd like to say that it's simply us overthinking this, but... It may be best to be cautious from now on. We shouldn't forget that Alibaba was able to discover who we are. True, but it's not as though he had tangible evidence to prove her. Just keep acting normally. More importantly, things are getting serious with Mejed. Oh yeah! What did they write? Here, I'll read it. We are disappointed in the people of Japan and their belief in the Phantom Thieves' false justice. Hence, we shall proceed with our plan to cleanse Japan. This process will commence on August 21st. As a result, the Japanese economy shall suffer devastating damages. For real? Keep going. However, we are magnanimous. 
We will give the Phantom Thieves one final opportunity to repent. As proof of this repentance, we demand that they reveal their identities to the public. We will attack if these demands remain unmet. The future of Japan rests with the Phantom Thieves. We are Majed, we are unseen, we will eliminate evil. That's what it says. Mm, sounds bad. In other words, if we don't unmask ourselves, Majed will attack Japan, correct? And it seems they are quite the attention seekers. What are we gonna do about this? If only we could get in contact with Alibaba. Our only clues are Boss and Futaba. Anyways, it's too damn hot out here. Why don't we go to Leblanc? We can talk more over there. We went through all sorts of options on our way here, but... Looks like we got no choice but to ask for Alibaba's help. Question is, how do we get in touch with him? He cut off all contact with us after that misunderstanding. Then again, if we manage to steal Futaba's heart, he may attempt to reach out to us once more. But we don't have any clues on what her keywords are. Damn it, Alibaba! Where the hell are you? Actually, he may be closer than we think. Huh? Hypothetically speaking, even if we stole Futaba's heart, how would Alibaba know that the deed has been done? Would he truly be able to discern that just from cell phone messages? You mean he'd have to meet her in person? Alibaba was able to deliver the calling card here. On top of that, he can check on Futaba's condition. However, according to the circumstances he put forth, he's unable to meet with us. This leads me to believe that it would be bad for him if we were to see the two of them together. It seems to me, Alibaba may in fact be Futaba herself. For real? So she's asking that we steal her own heart? Maybe she wants us to save her from the scars of her abuse. That would be hard to ask directly. I'd like to meet with Boss. He lives nearby, right? I agree. It's real late, though. What are we gonna tell Boss when we get there? We'll say this takeout sushi is a gift for him. But my fatty tuna! No complaining. Let's all go together. Boss may get the wrong idea if he and I show up alone. Head is open, and I can hear the TV. I hope he didn't pass out or something. I mean, boss is kind of old, ain't he? I'm a bit worried. Should we go in and check on him? Please excuse us. <laughs> Scream? What was that? How should I know? Freaking out for? I I'm not freaking out. Could it be Alibaba? I mean, Futaba? That. Uh, sorry. Um. Can I hold your hand? <gasps> I can sense. Something. 
someone's presence. Who is it? Who's there? I can't take this anymore. I'm leaving. No. No. My legs won't move. Doing in my house. Uh, You're. Oh, uh, good, good evening, sir. We, we didn't mean to intrude. Nijima-san. Wait, are, are you two dating? We're just friends. Uh, friends nowadays get that close to each other. But that's not it. This, um, uh, things. It happened, and... You kids are here, too? Um, we brought you some sushi, but nobody answered when we rang the bell. The door was unlocked, too. We could hear the TV, though, so we got worried he might have passed out or something. The door was unlocked? Yes. <sighs> I do that sometimes, because I'm getting old. Um, excuse me. There's something we'd like to ask. Hmm? You want to ask me? There's someone else living here. Isn't there? Yeah. My daughter. Could she be Futaba Sakura? You told Nijima-san too? Uh, um... Is there any way we could meet with Futaba-san? I think we may have frightened her earlier, so we'd like to apologize if at all possible. Well, uh, that's... Is she sick? No, no, it's not like that. <sighs> I don't want you all getting the wrong idea. <sighs> I shouldn't have kept this a secret from you. Let's talk at my shop. She'll hear us if we stay here. Now, where do I start? Futaba's mother and I knew each other long before Futaba was born. Her mother was a bit of a weird one, but we got along well for some reason. She was sharp-witted, somewhat stern, a little socially inept, but always carefree. She truly was a great woman. I see. When something piqued her interest, that'd be all she focused on. She always worked deep into the night. I thought that'd change after her kid was born. But having Futaba didn't do much. Even with that, she always took good care of her. Working and watching over a child at the same time sounds rough. I guess raising Futaba alone turned out to be tough on her in more ways than one. There wasn't a father. Do you mean... Well, there probably was one. I didn't know him, though. She never said a word about him, either. She was single when she gave birth to Futaba, and single when she raised her. They were an ordinary, loving family. You could really tell how much she cared for Futaba. <sighs> but one day, she left, leaving Futaba behind. Yes, she committed suicide. Suicide? Threw herself into the street, right in front of Futaba's eyes. 
Shocking doesn't begin to describe that. It's gotta be devastating for a kid. So... Well, a lot happened after that, but I ended up taking custody of Futaba. First, she was so depressed, she... she wouldn't even talk to me. Was that because she couldn't get over her mother's suicide? I kept talking to her, though, and she started opening up to me, little by little. That's when I found out Futaba blames herself for her mother's death. What? But why? That part she's never told me. I wanted to know what led her to believing that, but I decided not to rub salt in the wound. Then, a few months ago, she started getting real scared. Even when nothing was happening, she'd say things like, I hear voices and mom is looking at me. Visual and auditory hallucinations. Have you taken Futaba to a doctor? I wanted to, but she refused. Even when I had a doctor come, she locked herself away in her room. Since then, she's become what you'd call a shut-in. She won't take a single step outside the house, or even try to see other people. What of you? She doesn't even let me come in her room. That's pretty harsh. Futaba is, well, a unique girl. She's so quick-minded that conversations with her tend to jump from one topic to the next. It seems like she's always coming to conclusions in her head. There's a lot I don't get about her. Hmm. So, yeah, her situation is why I couldn't let you in my house. Thanks. What Futaba needs is a safe place where nobody will threaten her. Somewhere she can be at ease. That's why I won't do anything she doesn't want. And she's unwilling to, either. And again, I know that's no way for her to live, though. What I desire, huh? I know it's cliche, but more than anything, I want Futaba to be happy, like a normal person. Well, that's that. So, can you just leave her be? I'm gonna head back then. You all had better head home soon, too. I feel awful for prying into his personal affairs. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? Candidate found. What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Uh, where's Morgana? I haven't seen him for some time. So, ever since we went inside Boss's house? Somewhere around there. He'll be fine, though. He's a cat, after all. The trains are gonna be shutting down for the night soon, so we should probably be heading home. We have to go to school in the morning, after all. Oh, right. The urgent assembly. An assembly? What about? Shujin has been garnering a lot of attention ever since Medjet called out the Phantom Thieves. So, they need to remind us not to say arbitrary stuff online and add more fuel to the fire. We gotta meet up for every goddamn little thing. <sighs> Talk about a pain in the ass. I mean, it is our fault. Anyway, let's contact each other afterward. No way in hell he's abusing her. The reason why Futaba wants her heart stolen must be related to what happened to her mother. So she'd like to discard her feelings of pain, but can't do anything about it herself. Will changing her heart really help her, though? If we can help her, we may be able to stand up to Medjet. Hold on a sec. Do we even know if she has a palace? Let's check. 
The Futaba Sakura that lives at Sojiro Sakura's house. Is that gonna be enough? What the? She's got one. So someone can have a palace even if they're not evil? Hey, Morgana. Okay. Futaba Sakura? She had one of these palaces? Hold on. While Mejid was targeting you, you chose to deal with someone completely unrelated to them? That should be obvious. I mean, Mejid was... What you said about the Sakura family generally falls in line with our investigation. It appears you aren't feeding us a false testimony. <laughs> you have quite the wit. Very well, let's continue. We've yet to determine how the Phantom Thieves dealt with Mejid, seeing as they are unseen. If you tell me something coherent, I may be a little more willing to believe you. All right. Still, to think the Phantom Thieves would have their hideout in the home of Wakaba Ishiki's daughter. <laughs> what a coincidence. No. Perhaps it's fate. Regardless, we don't have time to waste. Continue with your story. Seriously? I can't. And that assembly had me bored to tears. Huh? Did you have school too, Yusuke? I'm doing laundry, so these are the only clothes I had to wear. You really should buy a couple more outfits. Come now, we didn't gather here to make small talk, now did we? Let's get to Alibaba's case. Well then, I'll start. It looks like Futaba was listening in on LeBlanc. But why would she want to listen in on the cafe? I have no idea. It's just like Boss said, she's a tough nut to crack. In any case, her hacking skills will be absolutely necessary if we wish to stand up to Medjed. Going by what she has told us, we may even be able to identify who they are. We'll have to trust in her skills for now, then. Anyway, we found out that Futaba has a palace. But can someone who isn't evil have one? That doesn't matter. A palace is the materialization of distorted cognitions brought about by strong desires. 
That's all. It just so happens that a lot of warped people turn out evil. She's so young, though. Pain she's gone through must be the cause of her distortion. Maybe that has something to do with why she calls herself Alibaba. According to the Chief's story, Futaba has auditory and visual hallucinations, right? There's a chance those are related to some important memories she's holding. It's hard to explain, but those memories may have been warped by the distortions. Basically, we just gotta steal her treasure, right? Well, yeah. So, do we all agree about taking on Futaba's palace? She's asked us to do so. I don't think that part is an issue. If we heal Futaba's heart, it will not only help Boss, but she can then assist us with Medjet. I agree. I've been wondering about how Boss said a lot happened after Futaba's mom died, too. Hold on a second. Our investigation of her palace may not go like anything we've done up to this point. Why's that? Having an individual ask you to steal their heart is an extremely irregular case. There's no telling what the palace ruler's disposition will be like, or the distortion that'll be there. We may run into some unforeseen situations. Do you still want to go in? Alright. Let's just make sure we're cautious. Well, let's get cracking on those keywords, huh? The ones we have at the moment are Futaba Sakura and Sojiro Sakura's house. We got the who and the where, so all that's left is the what, right? Let us try going to their house first. Boss is busy running the cafe, isn't he? We should make sure he doesn't suspect anything. Important memories, huh? I'll be able to remember everything if I turn back into a human, right? That has to be the case. I... definitely want this mission to succeed. If we can retrieve Futaba's memories, then I bet we can get mine back too. In any case, it's not every day you stumble upon a hacker like her around. You really do have a gift, don't you? You sure live up to my expectations. All right. Hey, they went on without us. Let's hurry and catch up to them. This is Futaba's room. Futaba-chan, you're in there, right? There's no answer. Futaba-chan, are you there? I'm sorry for being startled and screaming yesterday. It was so dark that I got scared. However, ah, this is gonna be hard. You're listening, right, Alibaba? Is it Alibaba? Why is she only reacting to that name? You're Futaba Sakura, aren't you? She's not responding again. Does she not like us saying her name? We don't have time to dally around. We need her keyword before dealing with Alibaba's identity. We want to learn more about you. If we don't do so, we can't steal your heart. The reason why we came here is because we need the keyword to enter your palace. That's why we want to talk with Futaba Sakura herself, and not Alibaba. You don't have to show yourself, just answer some questions for us. Chat messages are fine. 
All right then. Our leader, the guy who lives in LeBlanc's attic, wants to speak with you. We're counting on you. Try and get a keyword out of her. Looks like you should ask something different. Looks like you should... Uh, die? Tomb? You think that's it? Try and... Input accepted. Searching for route to destination. We got it! Yes. It was plenty. You haven't forgotten your promise of helping us if we complete your request, right? Well then, let's hurry up and go. And clicky. You idiot! Don't activate it here! Yeah, we see that. Wait, what the... Our, our clothes are still the same? Futaba herself is asking us to steal her heart. It'd be odd if she saw us as a threat. If she doesn't see us as an enemy, then your clothes don't change. That's how it works. But more importantly, I told you to be cautious. Why'd you activate it like that? Is that why we ended up in a desert? Where's the tomb? Oh, it's so damn hot here. Even though we entered right in front of her room, we didn't end up inside it. She must really want to keep people away from her. Mm, I see. What a bleak feeling this place has. It's the complete opposite of Kaneshiro's bank. Let's hurry up and get going. Where's the palace? Is it that way? Oh yeah, there's something shiny tomb in the desert. I see. Anyway, let's make our way there. Isn't that kind of far? Are we gonna walk? Of course not. My paws will get burned. I've been waiting for this. I'll make sure I'm full blast. You're so considerate. <laughs> right. All right, <laughs> let's roll. beats opening the windows to the hot desert air. Hey, On, can I have a drink? Didn't you have mineral water? I drank it already. <sighs> How are the guys? Huh? Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. It's so hot. The AC ain't working at all. What the hell was that lukewarm air about? That was the best I could do, so quit your yapping. For real? You are so half-assed. What was that? You wanna fight, punk? Jeez, shut up. It's hot, so don't make me more irritated. <sighs> to think her palace would be a pyramid. 
Hey, a pyramid's a tomb, right? Yes, it's a pharaoh's tomb. That's how it's mostly known. There are a variety of theories on it. For instance, it's even said to be a device for reviving the dead. Reviving the dead, hmm? It's beautiful nonetheless. It's perfectly conformed to the golden ratio. Hey guys, can we go in already? I'm gonna melt. Oh man. Oh man.